Hey adventurers, welcome to the San Francisco Bay Area. I just popped up for a really quick trip. Specifically, I was looking for a slate-throated red start, a very rare bird. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of it, but I did see it. But I figured I'd come to one of my favorite harping spots to see what's around. The last time I was here, we had a San Francisco garter snake. We had lots of of uh, Pacific chorus frogs, so I think we may find some good stuff. Now, it's not as good of weather, it's not as good of time of year. Um, it's in the 50s and mid-August, so uh, who knows if, uh, if much will be out, but if I stayed at home, I was certainly gonna see nothing. So let's see if we can find some good stuff today. Well, this is unexpected. Right in the middle of the path here, we have a shed. This is looking like a lizard. Yeah, you can see right here, there's one of the, the legs. Um, I don't know, uh, I'm not very good at identifying sheds, so it's hard to tell, but looking at the the size, it's maybe it's an alligator lizard. Maybe that, maybe a fence lizard, but one of the two. So kind of cool to, to stumble upon that. Oh, look at all those. So many voles running around. That's a good sign. This will probably be very good in the spring. So we've got a lot of baby lizards running through here, which is kind of interesting. Um, maybe we can get one in hand. Here's one. All right, well, this isn't one of our targets, but certainly a very common species. This is a very young fence lizard. And it's so young, it doesn't really have that blue coloration that we would see on the belly yet. Um, or even the, you can just barely see some of the yellow that comes on the back of the legs. And look, it even has what looks like a little belly button. That's how young it is. The, the adults don't really have that. So very cool to find our first species and such a young one too. Pretty. All right, here is our little hopper. Now, the garter snakes will definitely eat these guys, but this is not the frog we were looking for. This is a Pacific chorus frog and just a young one. So it is definitely the time for babies. You can see it's got some lovely yellow coloration in that concealed portion of the legs. Now, these guys can range from green to brown. This one's more brown, and they usually have black markings uh, on the back that are very variable. So, excellent to get this guy. He doesn't really blend into that leaf very well, but this one, much better coloration for him. Let's see if he'll stick onto it. No, nope, he just fell to, fell to the ground. Oh, well. All right, well, not our target again, but we've got a little salamander here. These are California slender salamanders. It's the only species in the area. So, oh, easy to identify. I'm gonna take him out from under the rock so I can put his rock back properly. And then you can get a nice look. There you go. But this is also a fairly young one. So even, you know, different species, different families, still finding pretty much just young animals here. All right, go back under, bye-bye. Found where all the tree frogs are hiding here is a really bright green one, um, but there was another one somewhere behind it that was all brown. Um, oh, here's, here's one that's all brown. You can see it there. Um, but just to give you a sense, here's another one. It's more brassy in color. <laughs> they really are everywhere in that spot, but you can see just how variable they are. <laughs> green one it's so brightly colored so really cool frog it's tons of variability luckily there's really not anything in the area to confuse it with oh this is particularly cool look at that those are two newts but they are just juveniles so they were probably born not that long ago a couple months ago and wow i it has been a long time since I found newts this small. All right, I wanted to show you these newts up close, in part because I wanted to move them out of the way of the rock, but just so you could see all of their field marks. So 
you, you may recognize those bright orange bellies. These guys are poisonous and they use that as a signal to predators that like, don't eat me. They have much rougher skin than that slender salamander that we saw earlier. And, uh, and they're much darker color and they do, they honestly look like they're built more for terrestrial life at this uh, stage. So really cool to see such young newts like this. It's very rare. Oh, what a treat. This is a nice combo. Two more newts and another Pacific chorus frog. And uh, there's actually still chorus frogs that are jumping around me as I flip more rocks, but that is a nice triple flip right there. We're gonna move these guys out of the way and put the rock back. Um, but actually, before I do, I realize I didn't tell you what species these were. Um, if you look at the eyes, how they extend just barely beyond the outline of the head, that is our field mark for the California newt versus the rough skin newt, um, which are also in the area. So very cool. This is, I had no idea that newts even bred here. So it's very cool to see uh, that there's at least four of them. And I'm sure we may find another one or two under those rocks, who knows? This is cool. I don't know why this is, but we've got another pair of newts. So that's three times that we flipped two newts together, just like that. Um, so excellent to see that guy. Now let's, I'm gonna, this one's so brightly colored. Move him out of the way. Put that rock back and then I go scoop you back up and scoot on under there. You can hopefully squeeze on through there. All right, turns out that there's a nice, much better opening on this side where they can scoot under the rock. Well, we just got our first look at a snake. This was a garter snake, the first adult thing that we've seen as well. So that is exciting, but I didn't get a good enough look to tell what kind of garter snake it was. Um, it didn't, wasn't able to see all the field marks, really just the, the tail. So hopefully we'll get another one out here and we can actually identify something for you. So we'll keep looking. Right, we've got some more evidence of a snake here. We have a bit of shed. Um, I don't know my sheds. I can't identify based off of them, but this is probably from a garter snake just because that is what we saw earlier. Um, yeah, it's breaking apart pretty easily. I think the head is somewhere, somewhere in there, but good to see that they're that they're out and about somewhere oh this is another cool thing look at that we've got some eggs oh looks like they have been possibly eaten maybe they're hatched i think these guys were probably eaten these look like bird eggs um but i wouldn't be able to tell you uh what what species it is so um oh and it does look like there's also some remnants of maybe a bird that was eaten here by maybe an owl or something like that. So you never know what you're going to find. All right, right below me. Oh, shoot. All right, I need to put this down. Um, but uh, there was a really pretty adult alligator lizard. Did you go under here? There he is. Look at, oh, shoot. Which way did he go? Well, I didn't see which way he took off, but hopefully you'll, you would have gotten a glimpse by now, but really beautiful red coloration, much different coloration than what we get down south. There he is. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that beautiful color. What? So this is a southern alligator lizard. You can see those white flecks um, that are coming through in those bands that span its back. Uh, the northern don't have as clear bands and they don't have those white flecks, but just a lovely color to this guy. And I think, oh, he's going down a burrow there. Uh, or it's not, it must not be that deep since he's sticking his head back up, but very cool very pretty lizard. So that lizard was under this big piece of wood and I saw this little shed here. This looks like it was from 
uh, that lizard. So it's cool to see. We've, we've seen a lot of sheds today, so pretty neat. <laughs> well, I think we did fairly well for not ideal conditions. Uh, I would have loved to see some more snakes, but I think the weather would have to be a little bit warmer, a little less overcast, and uh, and who knows what, what we could find next time. But we got some good stuff. I was really happy with those baby nudes. That was very exciting. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field.